What's up, Elden Bros? It's Poir, and this morning, Bamco has dropped one of the most important patches the game has received yet. Finally, finally, they did something good for PvP, and Bloodhound Step was finally nerfed. Its travel distance was lessened and also lost iframes, and Quick Step was also hit a bit, making spamming it worse, but also buffed a bit in that you can circle around targets better. Rivers of Blood was also nerfed, Corpse Piler dealing less bleed buildup and only slightly decreased damage, which is good, since now you might not be able to completely zap a mofo's health from the very first swing, meaning with enough poise you can avoid the second and third follow-ups since you're not going to be staggered from the bleed procs to get freely hit from the follow-ups. I assume it's going to take the second hit to block bleed now, so get wrecked spammers, but also maybe now Rivers is a weapon that's more respectable and not just press L2 to win. And the last big nerf is Stars of Ruin, got nerfed as well, having less tracking meaning you can strafe dodge it better, so some wizard nerd can't spam it infinitely at the start of the fight. Nice. There's also a new multiplayer feature where your summon signs, and I assume PvP signs as well, will be sent to more areas than just a single pool when using that red sign thingy. Also, you can invade more areas now with a single use of the finger item so you have better chances at invading faster. Which is great since the game has lost 90% of its player base, meaning no more waiting around for 10 minutes in some cases. Of course, it's not all nerfs. There are some buffs to bigger weapons as well, again, such as Great Axe and stuff like that. Glintstone Pebble got a stagger nerf, but also got an animation speed increase as well as damage. So maybe not guaranteed the follow up will land after the first hit anymore, but it does more damage. A really cool one though is Light Equip Load Chads now have a longer dodge distance, which makes sense. And lastly, Guard Counters, which are mostly kind of useless in PvP, have increased attack speed now, which hopefully makes it more useful. And the rest is mostly bug fixes, you can find a patch notes below in the description or the pinned comment. But they needed this patch like 3 months ago when they had that bigger player base, but I guess better late than never. So really glad they finally added it. With that said, the new cancer was actually UGS poke, and from the notes it doesn't seem to address that unless the reduced time it takes to roll after an attack statement can help with that. Not sure, we'll see. But yeah, what do you guys think of the new patch? Are you still playing Elden Ring and or will this make you come back? Let me know. I will play the game eventually, so good to know that if I want to do PvP, the experience might be better. But that's it, new patch, I'm out, subby wubby for more Elden Ring epicness.